Well, hello, Michael here, looking again today at Meditations on Manhood, 100 Devotions from Charles Spurgeon. I have the section titled, Lowly is Manly, and he uses a verse from Matthew 8, 8, that reads, The centurion answered and said, Lord, I am not worthy that thou shouldest come under my roof, but speak the word only and my servant shall be healed. So Spurgeon pens, A sense of unworthiness is very desirable and commendable. Some of you are destitute of it. I dare say you think it a mean and miserable thing. You suppose it would injure your manliness, lower your self-respect, and dampen your courage. Dear friends, the manliness which feeds on sin is a poisonous fungus which grows out of the rottenness of a corrupt heart. May it be taken away from us. Any condition of mind which is founded on a falsehood must be an evil one. It is a bubble blown by ignorant conceit. Let us not desire more self-respect, manliness or courage than will be consistent with the truth of things. I commend a sense of our unworthiness because it is a sense of what is true. When a man thinks himself unworthy before the Lord, his thoughts are right. When he feels that he could not be saved by the merit of his own works, for his works are faulty and defiled, then he judges according to fact. Whatever result a thought may have upon us, whether it makes us happy or makes us sad, this is a secondary matter. The main point with an honest mind must always be, is it true? If it is a truthful thought, I ought at once to entertain it, cost me what it may. Should the truth create devastation within my soul and destroy all my fair hopes and promise and fancies, it must be so. For the most painful effect of truth is better than for me than the most flattering results of falsehood. Better the suffering of truth than the kisses of deceit. The arrow which pierces the heart of self-conceit is a blessing. If you take a very lowly view of yourself, some may call you morbid, but they know not of what spirit you are. Humility is healthy. Lowliness is no disease.